guys so today's video is slightly different because because I'm going to be doing a little DIY project that I've had planned for a while so I have a set of drawers in the tack room and I currently keep all my saddle pads in there I now want to convert them because they squish my saddle pads and it just doesn't really work so I want my saddle pads on display and I want to be able to hang them up so that is my task today Okay guys, so when I cleaned and tidied the tack and feed room, I told you I had a plan for these drawers. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So these drawers currently don't even really work, they're really stiff and really annoying, but they keep my saddle pads in. However, my saddle pads have to be folded to fit in here. So we're going to transform it into a saddle pad wardrobe where my saddle pads won't get all squished and hopefully it'll look a bit better. So I started by removing all of the things that were on the set of drawers or around it just so that I could take them out more easily and then I started taking out all of my saddle pads and everything out of the actual drawers themselves just so that it was nice and empty. Then I finally managed to get them outside and I took the drawers apart. So the first part of my DIY was to saw off the sections that separated the drawers because obviously I want it as one big open space. These are quite easy because it was just some small dowels that were actually holding them in place and a little bit of glue I believe. So this is what it looked like once they had all been removed and you can now sort of get an idea of what it's going to look like and how I kind of want it to look more of a wardrobe. So then I removed the pieces of wood that the drawers had rested on. These were really awkwardly screwed in so it took me a few attempts. So I decided to actually leave the top section because this is where I was going to balance the pole on but the rest of them that came out. Okay, now I've taken out all of the sections that were down the sides so I'm going to now measure for my pole. So then I measured my broom handle length for how long it needed to be to attach. So I did just under the length of the drawers, obviously it depends how you're attaching it. So then I obviously had to check that the length was okay and make any adjustments. Luckily I'd got it right the first time, always measure twice and cut once. And then I screwed in the pole just so it was nice and secure. And then finally it was on to painting. So anyone who has watched my videos before knows that everything on the farm is either cream or this willow colour. So the paint I'm using is Cupronal Shades in Willow. We sort of have a theme on the farm if you can't tell from the doors behind me. So I decided to paint the wardrobe all in this nice green colour. I really like it, it's really freshening and I just thought it would look so much better. If you do use this you will definitely need two coats. It's a really good paint though, it kind of has like this plastic effect that once you've painted it um, you can wipe things down, it's just really handy. So I decided to do all of the inside because obviously this is now going to be open fronted and I'm not going to lie, it took me ages but it was definitely worth it.
as I said, I had to give it two coats because the, this first coat was quite light um, and it looked a little bit patchy. Initially, I wasn't going to go over the black studs, but then I just thought they were going to annoy me and take a lot to go around, so I just ended up painting over those. So I did even paint the back even though it is going to be up against the wall but I thought it would just protect it because you can see where it's been up against the wall before and it's gone slightly white just from moisture and things like that so I thought this would help and also if there is any moisture we don't want it going on these saddle pads. So this is what it looks like now, I've painted it, as you can see I've even painted the inside and the pole and everything, I'm super happy with the colour and how the paint came out, I had to pop the mounting block behind it because the wind was so strong today it was actually knocking it over, but yeah, so this is the finished article for now, I'm going to now pop it back into the feed room and pop my saddle pads in it so you can see what it looks like now that it's all finally done. Okay, so here we have the finished product. So I've kept one small drawer at the bottom to put half pads in, and then the rest is nice and open so that I can now see all of my saddle pads. These aren't all of my saddle pads. A lot of my saddle pads that I've gone through today need cleaning, so I'm going to do that. But as you can see, some of them are here, um, which makes me very happy. It's a lot better when you walk in and see that and act can actually see on my saddle pads now so I'm really happy with that I've still got all my storage on the top I've got a little bit of storage on the bottom but it is going to make life a lot easier um, so another little thing is they're all attached with these hangers I got these from Amazon they were super cheap I can't remember how much but I'll put the link in the description with the price there we go guys that is my finished little DIY upcycled set of drawers so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, hopefully it's given you some ideas for some DIYs you could do of your own and I also just wanted this to be a reminder that you don't always have to spend a load of money to make things look good and also horses are expensive, we don't have all the money in the world to spend on things like making my cellar pads look good in the tack room but I managed to do it, it literally cost me £2.50 because I already had the paint and the only thing that I had to get was the broom handle. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, I know it was a little bit different, if you are new here please be sure to subscribe, I upload a video every day apart from Sundays at 12pm, so I will see you guys tomorrow, bye!